Hey folks, welcome to another small update for Trials of Abergarth, a game I'm making my spare time to learn Unreal Engine and at the same time expand upon the realm of Abergarth that I've been creating. Smaller update today. Um, just to, to give a slight update as to what's happening, what I've been working on, I've kind of been struggling with the quest and dialogue system and I finally got something that I, I really like. But before then, I just wanted to also show visually how it's coming along. I got a great inspiration from looking at a few developer videos of Pills of Eternity. A great RPG, really fun. And what I really liked was how they did the 2D and 3D merging. So I decided to see what I could do in that regard, which is create the entire map in 2D and then create the effects, like this little fire and the, the lighting and whatnot, in, in 3D. Uh, and that's going to be annoying. Should not have moved that. Give me a sec, folks. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, there we go. Lighting rebuilt. I'm not touching that again. But all that to show that uh, I want to use Unreal Engine's lighting and uh, particle effects and whatnot to its great potential that it offers while still being able to just paint things, which I really like doing. Now, to the main crux of this update, which was the upgraded dialogue system, uh, I moved everything instead of being per NPC to a conversation system. This, in turn, inspired by uh, looking at the Aurora engine of Neverwinter Nights and how they did their conversations. And it made sense so that I was able to pair conversations between multiple actors as well as on events and whatnot, instead of it being an event that fired upon talking to an NPC. Now, the, the events can can occur no matter what, so it doesn't even have to be an NPC talking. You could talk to a rock and it'd be okay. All that to say, um, the dialogue's been updated because of the journal system, and I'll show that right now. So the new journal system I made is really bad. This is what it looks like. It says, hey, there's a quest in this area. You still haven't discovered it. Cool. As soon as the event fires and uh, the old man calls out for help, you there, help, please. The quest is updated to say, hey, this guy's might be important. Maybe not, maybe so. But it does say that I met someone, an old Carthian man. He seemed panic about something. So, fair enough. And this is what's really cool about the journal system that I made that I really enjoy. I wanted it to feel like an adventure. And part of that is discovering information as you go along from various sources. So let's just say I wanted to say, oh, well, there, don't move too much. You're hurt. He would say, it's fine, it's not me, please, they've kidnapped my daughter. All of a sudden, the journal updates. It says his daughter, still don't know the name, was taken from him. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. So let's just say I can help for a fee, but ah, uh, that's not really nice. Someone's in danger, I'm going to help out. Thank you, thank you so much. All of a sudden, the journal updates. I agreed to help da -da -da -da, out to save his daughter. So I still don't know his name, but I know his daughter's been kidnapped by something. This is what I was really happy with. The journal will keep notes of what your decisions are. It's not perfect, and I'm sure I could improve it in many situations, but the fact that the choices that you take upon the dialogue affects how the outcome of something is makes me really happy in exactly what I was trying to do. So, yay! So let's just say I, I now ask who he is. His name updates, and he says, I'm Alfred. And in case you hadn't found the information before, this would be another instance of it saying, hey, they've kidnapped his daughter, so they would have updated this. But now, all of a sudden, his name is updated in every single instance of the game, now that you've met him. And I can keep going with that. I can say, oh, okay, what's your daughter? His name, her name's Sasha. She's got blonde hair, still only a child. Cool. Now, all of a sudden, the name updated. And I can say, who would take it? Well, it's a group of small humanoids, according to him, but my character has knowledge about the adventuring world, so I'm like, ah, oh, sounds like Cobalt. Once again, now the journal updates to say it was Cobalt. Where did they go? They went south. Instead, the kidnappers have gone south further into the rocky path. And there we go. That's the new journal system. It doesn't look like much, but that's all UI artwork down the line. What I'm really happy with is that it updates not only on the fly, but also depending on the choices you make. So if you don't ask all the questions, you won't have all the information, but you'll still have the information that you as the player would have found out. And because of that, the um, if I talk to him again, the choices have already been made. It makes the game slightly more impactful, closer to a choose your own adventure kind of thing, instead of um, other RPGs that I've seen where it's always 
you can go back and forth between the the questions before and it feels not as impactful anyways that's all for the update thanks for watching as always cheers